What's up, fuggers? Today we're going to be playing some Blood Death Knight, but before we get into that, if you want to be a fugger, subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content, which I release every week. It's absolutely free and painless to subscribe, and you can always unsubscribe later, so please, every single one of you counts. Also, make sure you stick around until the end so you can hear my question of the day. Anyway, let's make some opponents bleed. What's up, fuckers? Alright, looks like we're against a warrior here. We're gonna go ahead and keep the uh, school teachers. Throw back the Blood Boil and Banshee, I think. Alright, and we pick up a Body Bagger, so that's really good. And it looks like it might be a Control Warrior, which is just, like, pretty funny for us. The stick is basically the superior version of Control Warrior, so we're just like basically guaranteed to win against them. It sure is boring around here. Alright, harmonic metal it is. Harmonic metal's pretty good there. That's unfortunate that they're gonna get an extra draw off the Acolyte here, but we couldn't really uh, avoid it. Bite my shiny metal ass! Alright, we hit the blood. We really need to find, uh... And of course we find literally nothing. Because why would we find any way to remove their stuff? But it's fine. We take the trades, and we take them off the board. Even if it's pretty painful to, uh... To do it like that. We still get it taken care of, and that's what really matters. Alright, let's go with the Hematurge. Hmm... Yeah, I'll go with the Screaming Banshee here. I don't like missing a uh, turn, but... I really like Screaming Banshee. I think it's a really strong card. Okay, we lose a Blood Boil, but it's fine. Yeah, okay, we don't draw another spell, so... We are fine with that card. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. And if we can actually get some good infuse off, we can actually uh, just take control of it. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take control of that from our uh, opponent. And that should basically guarantee us the win here. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ripper or blood boil? I think I'm gonna go boil, because we lost that one off of that. Alright, they lose a training session, that's good. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? It would have been nice to lose a uh, brawl off of the uh off of the spellbreaker. A little bit more impactful of a spell or something, but whatever. I mean, it, it was something. Alright, we get hit by a shield block. This place is scary. And a frightened flunky. And of course, they dirty rat our only card that actually clears this. Um... So yeah, we're just going to uh, play Blood Boil, I guess. Alright, Light of the Phoenix is really annoying. And, of course, we get hit by a bash. Alright, I... What do we do here? It was hard to pin down what he stood for, I really want to get these ghost riders off, but like, it's almost impossible with this hand. I could play like Banshee Ghost Rider, I guess. I just, I need the hero power. I have needed it every turn anyway. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, uh... So Banshee's, like, really not good right now. But I do really want the spells, so... We'll take a Death Strike. And we'll take a Graveyard Shift. A Graveyard Shift's gonna give us a, uh... Another Ghost Rider next turn with our Hero Power, so that's really good for us. Not have to spend too many more resources on that. All right. Oh, okay. They just concede. I was going to asphyxiate that anyway, but yeah, they just uh, they just go ahead and concede first. Let's go. All right. That's an easy win. All right. Looks like we're against a paladin here. I think we're gonna go ahead and keep this whole hand. Actually, I, th I think it's pretty good against a paladin. Ah, ah, I see you All right, and we're gonna go ahead and hero power on one. There's an argument for holding it, but I think on two we're most likely to just hero power. So we we want to be using our free hero power first before that. That way we're using our mana. Nice shot! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and trade the uh, Grime Street. And Grime Street's pretty scary for us. That means we could be expecting like a Goldwing or something to come down. Alright, Sanguine Soldier is fine. We are not scared about that. We're gonna go ahead and hit an Arcanite Reaper on the 1-1. One, one. Alright, they have a Funk Fin. That is actually gonna be quite a problem for us.
Okay, hopefully we can pick up some HP off this 3-3, but it is pretty possible they buffed this 2-1 up enough to clear it. So we might just be, uh, be just losing our 3-3 here. The menagerie is for the pure only. They do not, though. But we also can't get through that purator. So... Banshee's an option, but I think we want to play the uh, Construct Quarter because it gets us through. It's not ideal, but it's uh, better than leaving the Purator up, I think. Alright, a second Funk Fin. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and trade that Funk Fin and get a Blood Boil off here. And we're back to full health. Next turn we can probably play Mograin as long as we have the uh, opening for it. And we can always recover with Soul Stealer, so we could just take an off turn since we're at full health again. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just playing uh we could play patchwork now. Seems more immediately impactful. Okay, and what did we hit out of their hand? We hit a sunfish. Okay. Need a bit more spice over here. Alright, our soul stealer should be enough for a win. Ooh, and they make the unfortunate play of not respecting the board clears. And they lose their draw off of their uh, jitterbug. So, unfortunate play for the opponent, but really fortunate for us. Because we really didn't want to see them draw those extra cards. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and hit the Countess. That's fine though, we're gonna get uh, Mograine online. And at this point, we're just really hoping that their uh, their free legendaries aren't ridiculous. Because we can win here as long as their free legendaries aren't insane. Okay, legendary number one, what is it? Okay, we lose. Never mind. We they get they get the nuts on their legendaries. My bad. Life uh finds a way I thought we had a chance here but never mind <clears throat> okay well never mind I guess we do have a chance here if they're just gonna go face with crush like there's almost literally no way that they just like clear or get the uh, win here so yeah I, I don't think I have to be worried about that Oh my god, never mind, we, yeah, we lose. They actually got to go face with Crush and have it not fucking matter. Oh my god, dude, what the fuck is this game? They even kill their fucking Ramornia and it doesn't fucking matter. Whatever, maybe we have a shot here. We do heal back up with the Gnome Muncher. 
So, we have a chance. As long as they can't just go face. But this is looking pretty bleak. All right, they're they're gonna play Sorfang though. That's uh, pretty good for us. Now they're probably gonna trade the four two with the one ones. No. Okay, I don't. What can you possibly play for health instead of mana? Or are you just playing a six mana five five? Because that doesn't seem very good to me. Okay, that's a win. You are a master of destruction. I can't believe we did it. Yeah, I can't believe we got it, but with the, uh, yeah, with the Mograine damage, that's a win. So let's go. Easy win. I, honestly, I wasn't even worried. Not even for a second. Like, and if anybody says I was worried, they're lying. Honestly. So. Alright, guys. That was some Blood Death Night. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content, which I release every week. What do you guys think about this deck? Is Blood Death Knight broken or is everyone token? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Remember to subscribe to my channel because every single subscriber to my channel will actually get their own little ratatouille. That's right, if you subscribe to my channel, a little rat will crawl out of your wall and onto your head and start controlling you and making you do stuff. And maybe they'll make you cook, maybe they'll make you do other stuff, who knows, but you'll have like a ratatouille and it'll be cool, and you'll go on all kinds of ratatouille type adventures. So if you want that, subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today, thank you guys for watching, stay safe, peace.